Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to go out to the west side of New York. Um, I did a deep dive of the Genovese crime family in 2024, the upper echelons of the organization, um, or the upper echelon, I should say. Uh, Barney Belomo, the godfather of that family, um, the boss of bosses. <laughs> the most powerful uh Mafia Don in New York City, according to my sources. Uh, he's not an official boss of bosses. I, I'm using that term more, um, you know, more in, uh, in general terminology as opposed to him being a, a the elected uh, capo de tutti tu capo in a uh, copy in, um, in a commission or whatnot. So I know people take on bridge with that. Anyway, Barney, uh, uh, you know, lives in, in City Island and uh, keeps a very low profile. Uh, he's a guy that I'm told relies on, you know, seven primary people to, to keep the Genovese crime family, you know, uh, moving like a well-oiled machine. Like we know they've always been, you know, the, the they are the Ivy, the Ivy League of, of uh, OC, the, you know, the Harvard, the Yale, the Princeton of the mob. In America, dating you know, dating back decades, and uh, Barney is just kind of the next in line uh, of you know great leaders, guys that are you know they they hit the trifecta that I call in uh, what makes a a great organized crime boss. You know, loved, feared, and respected. So uh, let's kind of break down you know kind of the king's court, if you will. Uh, on the west side, Barney obviously in the top spot. Some people question, um, I guess, if Ernie might be the real guy uh, puppeting Barney. I've heard that, but that's not true, according to my sources. Uh, Barney is the top guy. Ernie Muscarella uh, is his underboss. You know, very, very, very respected. Um, a guy that uh, holds juice, in, you know, in every borough and um, is, you know, maybe the, the most formidable underboss, um, in America right now, but, uh, underneath him, he, he, we reported, uh, earlier this year that Patsy Perello, the OG, uh, on Arthur Avenue out in the Bronx, um, when he came out of prison a couple years ago, had been, uh, bumped up to consigliere. Um, I'm told that, uh, Uncle Patty Falsetti could actually be the acting consigliere right now um, and is definitely going to be the future consigliere. Uh, he is somebody that is uh, always looked to uh, for counsel by Barney, someone that spends a lot of time with Barney. I'm going to talk about kind of a coffee group uh, that Barney and his inner circle have uh, in a little bit. But uh, Patty is, uh, is a go-to in terms of a sounding board for um, for Barney as well as Ernie and and, and Patsy. Uh, street boss right now was Danny Pagano. We also reported that uh, recently. You know he had been the street boss, got into some legal problems, um, and was replaced by Mickey Ragusa, a protege of Barney. Uh, Mickey is probably going to be the the future. Underboss, I'm told, uh, another guy that spends a lot of time uh, with Barney and uh, very trusted. So uh, underneath these guys, you got um, Anthony Tony D. Palumbo, who is uh, a capo that uh, controls uh, Staten Island, controls the waterfront. Uh, another guy that's uh, relied on uh, from Barney to do a lot of heavy lifting. And then you have who I'm told is the heir apparent, um, Ralphie Balsamo, who is locked up right now uh, doing a, a short bid for uh, federal racketeering. They call him the Undertaker. Owns a uh, runs a, a a funeral home, and uh, you know Ralphie is someone who spends a lot of time with Barney too when he's. Uh, you know, when, he, when he's free, when he's not a guest of the government. Um, but even in prison right now in Fort Dix, uh, Ralphie holds a lot of sway, I'm told. So, you know, you have this group of guys that, um, you know, seven guys 
underneath Barney that uh, are, you know, they're the, they're the levers, they're the mechanisms that make this, this family go um, and make them the gold standard. Now, I, I, this is not to disparage any other powerful capos or uh, former administrators, guys that are on the street that, that still have uh, juice and power and that Barney uh, likes, uh, in some cases, trusts and looks to counsel, uh, looks for counsel from. But the seven that I just named are, uh, that's the, that's the starting lineup, if you will. So um, Barney likes to have coffee with these guys in the morning, um, not in public. Uh, and, and they're very smart about it, you know, kind of moving moving from place to place, uh, different apartments, different condominiums, different houses, uh, different you know, possibly social clubs or whatever. Um, and uh, I know that there are some guys that are there kind of every day with him, uh, Mickey and Patty. And uh, then there are guys that come in, you know, once a week to check in or twice a week, guys like uh, Ernie and Danny uh, and, and, uh, uh, Patsy and, and Tony D come by uh, at least uh, a handful of times a month to have coffee and chime in um, on their end. So uh, that's how Barney likes to do a lot of his business. I'm told uh, these kind of morning coffee clatches uh, with his boys. And it's just you know kind of interesting to see how this family will continue to evolve. But I'm told that Ralphie Balsamo is is being groomed for the eventual top spot. Uh Mickey Ragusa will probably be the the underboss. He was the street boss, um, as we as I said before, for Danny. But uh, Danny Pagano was back running the day to day for Barney. He's the final word on the street uh, out of uh, you know East uh, East Bronx. Uh, the name of name of his headquarters, I believe, is the uh, East Bronx uh, Soccer Club. But uh, another, you know, an OG, uh, a guy that multi-generational in terms of his bloodline and uh, all these guys, by the way, uh, or I should say most of these guys at least were, you know, well liked by the chin, which is, you know, uh, Barney is who Barney is today because the chin saw something in him you know, way back in the seventies and eighties uh, that I think Barney sees in, in Ralphie and, uh, and Mickey. So that's my report uh, from the West side. <clears throat> that's what, what I got for you at 2024. This is what the, the batting order looks like. Check back for more breaking OC news here on the OG. Please like subscribe, share, uh, spread the word. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG pod out. Mm-hmm.